read twice, based on the book of John, chapter 3. Nicodemus, a judge of the Jewish Supreme Court, has some questions for this miracle worker, and he wants to ask them privately. Is Jesus the Savior who will overthrow the Romans? What does a person have to do to enter God's kingdom? So one night, he secretly goes to where Jesus is staying. But before Nicodemus can even ask his questions, Jesus speaks. No one can enter God's kingdom without being born again. That's impossible. How can I be born again when I am already so old? You were once born from human parents. Now, you must be born again by God's Spirit. Then you can live in His kingdom. I don't understand. You can't see the wind, but you can see what it does. You can't see the Spirit of God, but you can tell by the way people live if they have been born again. You'll see from their lives if they have the Spirit of God in their hearts. Just like Moses lifted up a bronze snake in the desert, the Son of Man must be lifted up so that everyone may live forever. Don't you see? God loves the world so much that He sent me. Anyone who believes in me will never die. I have come to save the world. Jesus and His disciples leave Jerusalem and go out into the countryside of Judea. There He tells people about God's kingdom and how they can enter it. Soon, people come from all over Judea to be baptized. Some of John the Baptist's disciples are jealous. Everyone is listening to Jesus now. He's becoming more popular than you. That's the way it should be. Jesus must become more important and I must become less. 